Okay, hello everybody, and welcome to Dragon Age 2. Uh, what's going on is I've actually finished Act 1 at this point. Um, I just got back from my archaeology thing, and we got let off a few days early due to snow again. So I figured um, I have uploaded, I think I'm uploading parts 25 and 26 right now um, to YouTube. Uh, which is right before we start the Deep Roads thing, the, uh, the expedition. So, um, what I was kind of wanting to do, and what some people suggested, and I know F. Jones kind of mentioned this as well, that, um, that, uh, doing the Exiled Prince would maybe give me a little bit more of an excuse to kind of run around in Act 1. And I was kind of wanting to do that, um, like I did the Act 2 thing, I'm not so stressed about, like, do it not like stress, but like ang like uh, eager. I don't know, stress slash eager slash anxious to get going on the act two stuff. Um, because I've you know I've kind of seen how it turns out. I'm not gonna change any major decisions that were made. All I'm gonna do right now, I had to go all the way back. Uh, so all we have is the deep roads. But but I did buy the exile prince. So I figured I'd at least get that started right now, in act one, and get to know um the person that we're gonna get uh better in act two maybe but um <clears throat> yeah i came to a lot of decisions today actually while i was doing my four hour drive home um but uh yeah i'll have to tell you guys hopefully i remember but i have four hours is a freaking long time <laughs> to have deep thoughts about this game but I also actually, before we do that, I actually kind of want to mess with, um, banter. And I figure the best place to mess with banter, well, yeah, the hanged man. That's a pretty easy one. You just go up the stairs and you leave and you come back. So I won't do a lot of it, but I'll, I'll show you guys the banter and stuff. But, who do we have? All right, this is a good one. For, we'll, we'll, we'll mess just a couple, well, like a couple groupings. I want to make sure everybody talks to everybody at least once. Great ancestors, no. You know what Orzammar is? It's cramped tunnels filled with nug shit and body odor. <laughs> and every person there thinks he's better than you because his great, great, great grandfather made a water clock or something. <laughs> but they're your people. Don't you even wonder what it would be like? She wonders about the circle. I have a good imagination. Why would I waste it on that? <laughs> That's a good one. Must have been hard for him. I think we've already heard this, but I'm not sure. In a place where no one's like him. I bet he appreciated having a friend. He did. <sighs> so... A lady sunshine. What's your first act as a noblewoman going to be? <laughs> a noblewoman with no fortune and no title. Looking for work, probably. Practicality is for peasants. <laughs> you need to do something frivolous to celebrate your birthright. <laughs> Such as? Come up to the high town market and complain bitterly that there's no Orlesian <laughs> silk that matches your eyes. But what if something does match my eye? What will I do then? Insist that they're blatantly <laughs> and demand royalties. A good noble always has a complaint ready, Sunshine. I like his name for her, Sunshine. It turns out actually that I it's not doing the conversation on the stairwell, but it's doing it out here. So I'm just going back and forth in and outside. I think, uh, I don't know why it's not doing it on the stairwell anymore. Probably because it's like, you have to actually do something else first I don't know but this seems to be working going outside so probably because it's a place you frequent a lot it's not just like a like you could walk back and forth through it I don't know you know I'm not saying it well yeah I'm tired too so I'm just like I just want to listen to some banter I want to hear everybody talk didn't do it. Alright, I might have worn out these guys. We'll see. I'll switch them up. We'll see if, if, if new people will chat. Oh, I also plan on bringing Meryl out to the Exiled Prince because I realized 
that I haven't been bringing her out very often, so... Um... Let's bring... Meryl, Aveline, and Isabella. Yeah? Is that... I have six people, right? No, I have seven. Wow, okay, Fenris. Alright, alright. Got it. Good. Well, okay, maybe we can try. How do you do that? Do what, kitten? <coughs> you sort of... swagger when you walk. <laughs> I've been trying, but I trip over my own feet when I do it. <laughs> you just strut. It's not something you practice. How do I learn it then? It comes to you. Usually at night. <laughs> it's like a lover or maybe a burglar. <laughs> Either it ravishes you or what? runs off with all your jewelry. And you have to run it down and stab it in the heart. What, what is she t And Yes, it did. That metaphor got a bit away from me, didn't it? I think it did, but it was certainly exciting. Yes, it was. <laughs> That's adorable. I want to see Isabella with everybody. Isabella is hilarious. Like, she just manages to say, I don't know, whoever wrote her dialogue is a genius. It was really funny. Kitten. That's so cute. So cute. I know, um, Varric calls Bethany Sunshine, uh, Anders is Blondie, E? Oh, boy. Wow. Ye. So, Isabella, <laughs> you're a captain. That's right, big girl. Uh -oh. What of it? <laughs> I don't remember your name on any registries. Every ship that docks has to declare. I never docked, and you're no port authority, and you are no merchant. <laughs> Ooh, scrutiny. <laughs> I heard that their their thing is funny. What is this like prostitute doing here? Jeez. Um, seems like an odd odd place for one. I just really want to get a better feel for everybody's character before I start Act Two. I mean, I think it's, it's pretty good. In that empty mug for hours. <laughs> get another drink or get out. What happened here? Jeez. Do you really like sailing? Like it? Wow. I love it. The salt spray on my face, the wind whipping by my ears, the gulls screaming overhead. I love it all. Oh, don't you get sick? I was so sick on our trip across the sea. Were you in what? the hold? Everyone was in the hold. There's your problem. You need to be up on deck, under the sky, with nothing between you and the horizon. Sailing is like sex. Do it wrong, <laughs> and it'll make you sick. <laughs> Everything! But do it right, and there's no feeling in the world. Everything like is it. a metaphor for sex! That's funny, though. I like that she manages to. You just, you just know, you just, you just, you just know her person personality right off the bat. I love it. She's so funny. I realize it might be more organic to be running around and getting these conversations like while we're doing stuff, but I did that and I didn't get as many as I like. I didn't get as many as I wanted, so I'm just gonna do it this way. I did that in Awakening. I don't, I'm not gonna try and wear everybody's stuff out, but well. Captain. Can I call you Captain? <laughs> you can call me Captain. <laughs> I won't be doing that. <laughs> Neither will I. Because you're a guard captain. No real authority. God, not like on a ship. Oh. Well, you would know about having a large number of men under you. You've been waiting to use <laughs> that one. Did you practice? Shut up. She did! She did! She's been waiting for a moment. Oh, God. That was pretty good, though, Aveline. That was pretty good. Do you have a parrot, Isabella? <laughs> what would I want a parrot for? A parrot! What about a peg leg? <laughs> Do you have one of those? She sounds so serious. You can see that I don't, dear. Are you Patch? I'm disappointing you terribly, aren't I? <laughs> and no hook for a hand, either. Seems that Varric's pirate stories are awfully inaccurate. <laughs> he knows, kitten. He likes them better that way. Ah, I see. 
It's true, Varric likes to embellish. It makes a better story. Because sometimes real life isn't so... isn't so grand. So why not? He said something about that, like with history and like... Why not let history... history is like a story. So why not it... why not let it be his story being told or something? Do men find you intimidating? What about Wesley? Ooh. Did he? Isabella. Yeah. What? Too soon? Too soon, too personal, too... Everything coming from you. Oh, sore spot. If you don't shut up, I'll give you a sore spot. Oh, I want to see where that goes. I was interested to see how what Bethany and Anders would talk about. Because their conversation... I think they're done, though. I'm not sure. You have such pretty hair. What a lovely color. Other children used to laugh at me for having ginger hair. Really? Oh, I bet you were cute. Did you have pigtails? Sometimes. How precious. Little Aveline running around the village with her flaming orange pigtails <laughs> streaming behind her. And little boys all scattering and screaming for mercy <laughs> as she approached. <laughs> Shut up, poor. Oh, come on. She was giving you a compliment. I don't see why. I never really understood the whole ginger joke thing. I still don't really get it. It's just a hair color. It's pretty. I like it, you know? But sometimes people get really worked up about it. I don't know why. It's odd. Like Canadian jokes. I don't get Canadian jokes. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm half Canadian. I don't know. I mean, I, I could, I guess it's funny. I mean, I could see how people maybe think it was funny, but I'm like, why Canadians, you know? Why Ginger? I why of all people, that, those people? It's not always fun in games on the sea, though. There are storms and hostile pirates. And it's trying being cooped up with men who haven't seen a woman in months. <laughs> You're a woman. Exactly. And I don't usually let them touch me, so they get frustrated. <laughs> I insist all of them get alone time. Alone Helps time. With the <laughs> They're already lonely. Why would you insist they be alone? Ah, <laughs> oh, Meryl. What? <laughs> Did I miss something? Go think about it. Maybe it'll come to you. Uh, so funny. Maybe we'll just pretend we're spending a lot of time at the bar, and that's why we're all being chatty. You know. We really like the Hawk family. Why do you say that? You came all the way from Lothering with them, didn't you? And they're not even your clan. Humans don't have clans, Meryl. You can survive. Some of them do. And you didn't okay, sorry about that. Unfortunately, we had to cut off a little bit of Meryl being cute, but I've restarted my computer and I've done all that stuff. So someday, someday soon, I'll be getting a new computer. And life will be easier. But until then, I was just browsing Tumblr. Honestly, I was on, I was on Tumblr. I don't do Tumblr. My, I didn't. I just recently found out about it. And I'm sure I've mentioned it a little bit. But I can't, I can't stop looking at it. <laughs> well, every now and then I go through, I go through phases where I get bored. And I'm like, I'm just going to look at Tumblr for a minute. And then I'm on there for like 20 I may have done all the options for this. All right, we'll make a new grouping then. We'll see. It might just be it's like you've used up all the conversation options in this point or something, you know. But we'll. Uh, well. Okay. Wait. No. I'll put you back. Except. Let's just try the stairs one more time, since that's not a loading screen. Lothering have any It wasn't a big enough village to have a wall around it, let alone a place for elves. Where did the elves live, then? Stables and outbuildings, mostly. Really? I think I like alienages better. Jeez. That's not fun. Uh, well, let's change it up. We'll, we've done we've done a lot with this group. Um, uh, who hasn't? Uh, she's talked. Uh, Isabella's talked to Fenris. She's talked to Varric, Aveline, Bethany, Anders, and Meryl. Now, 
So Fenris has talked to Varric and Aveline. Bethany. All right. Well, let's do let's do um, Fenris, Aveline, and Bethany. Oh wait. Oh no. Wait. Uh, sorry. Okay. Isabella. I liked uh, Fenris's and and Aveline's conversation. Did I do that? I didn't do that right. Okay. Uh, who did I not? Meryl. Okay, Meryl. And... Emily. Okay, not right now. Oh, these guys aren't talking? Do I need to go somewhere else? Oh, where else do they talk? Um, oh, no. Okay, hang on. You say Fenris? No. Oh. You know, some guards give people the opportunity to lie if it will keep the peace. You can see what I am. Lie to yourself if you must. What? Lying about him being a slave or what? That's odd. They seem to have a good relationship, though. Like, decent, you know? Him and Isabella do as well. For my sake, please quit cutting through the alleys in Lowtown alone at night. Nothing ever happens. I'm perfectly safe, Farrick. Yes, I know. <laughs> and that nothing is costing me a fortune. <laughs> really taking a liking to Meryl. I didn't realize. I had to turn it off again in the Elgato, so we'll see if it works. Still. I mean, I guess it's good that it's doing it while I'm doing this and not while I'm actually doing something important, but um, Beric and Meryl are super cute. Oh, I leveled her up, by the way. I, uh, I'll show you guys. Because I think she was the only one I hadn't brought out in a while. So pounce a lot. Who knighted him? Is that a serious <laughs> question? Did he have a little sword or just his claws? <laughs> I bet he had a dashing cap with a feather in it. Would you stop She's making not. fun of my cat? Oh, no hat then. <laughs> She's being serious. Oh, Sir Pounce a lot. I hope he's doing okay. He was very helpful when I finally figured out how to use him. Brought Anders back to life a couple times. Maybe it's all the auto saves. Maybe that's or like it, like like switching locations like a lot is causing it problems. It's like. I just want to see if we'll get any more Varric and Meryl. Just a couple. Alright, looks like maybe not. So, um... Well, I'll probably... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll go start it. I just worry that... I'll mess it up. But this is, uh... I'll show you Meryl's. I put two into magic and one into constitution. And... I gave her... Oh, I gave her an upgrade on uh, Tempest. <laughs> Probably some people's abilities will be a little bit different than they are going to be in, when you guys see the first little bit of Act 2. I only played Act 2 for like an hour and that was mostly talking to people and then I accidentally got involved in a situation that I was like, well, I gotta finish it! Blah! <laughs> so... All right, I was trying to decide who I would bring to, to talk to an exiled prince. And I'm gonna bring Meryl, because I haven't brought her out in forever. And I'm gonna bring Isabella, because she's our newest one. And I can only think bringing Varric would be funny. But 
I mean, I want to bring Bethany and Anders and Fair and Al. I want to bring everybody. It's just so hard. And now I'm getting another companion I'm going to have to figure out. But, yeah, this means I'm going to have... I probably should have mentioned it, but I'm going to have to replay the Deep Roads again because I didn't do any saves in there for some reason. So, not any hard saves anyway. So, that's fun. But, this looks like a fun, fun little group we've got. So we'll go, we want to go to High Town. We'll see, I'm gonna kind of be keeping an eye over there on the computer, making sure it's okay. I think I had a rough day traveling. Okay. I know there's talking here. Hmm, I wonder if I wore out some people. Uh, we don't want to talk. We want to go to the Chantry. Oh, we want to go to the Chantry. Um, right? That's what it said. It said, oh, nope. Ah, shoot. Uh, go to the Chantry in High Town by day. So, wherever the freaking Chantry is. Um, oh, Red Lantern. Oh, Sebastian. Sebastian. Okay. Okay, so I need to turn left. Oop, oop. No, this way. This way. That's... He's over here. Okay. Papa! Oh, he's just right there! Alright, alright, you guys ready? Oh! Sebastian! Stop this what? madness. Whoa! <laughs> He's attractive! Revenge, it is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. What? He's Irish? Cool this armor! Is cool armor! Uh oh. No. What happened to my family was murder. He just shot an arrow at a chantry lady. A grave crime was committed against all free mar free thinking men and women in the free marches. The ruling Vale family in Starkhaven, my family, was brutally murdered down to the youngest babe in arms. This massacre was carried out by members of the Flint Mercenary Company. I hereby offer a bounty on the head of each Flint Company soldier in the Kirkwall vicinity. Prince Sebastian Vale. I don't know how you say his last name. Okay, that's not how I expected that to go. Okay, I didn't really have any, I didn't have a lot of expectations, but geez. Oh, so I gotta go kill these things, people. <laughs> Is he not gonna help? Kirkwall docks at night, go to the Sundermount. Oh, um, and the Wounded Coast. Okay. Um... I really want to bring Bethany too, and Anders. I'm having a hard time right now. Those are those two specifically are ones that I want to bring. Is there... Oh, there is something glowing over here. Plate armor, uh, cool. Let's uh, let's take a look. Oh, not what? Oh. Oh, uh, no, I'll throw one of those away, too. March of Thunder. Not as good as what I've got on! Alright. So we just need to go back to a fast travel point. Oh, is there, there is one down here, isn't there? Yeah. Interesting. I'm gonna make some last minute coins so my mom doesn't have to worry, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Okay. Well maybe we'll take uh we'll take um Meryl, Varric, and Isabella to Sundermount. Remember to save your game frequently. Luckily the auto saves are nice and they add auto saves in each new area. That is good. At das ist gut. Gut. Das ist gut. Wow, they're like right here. You ready? 
Are you guys gonna be difficult? Hiya! Oh, I just, I'm kind of just curious how this is gonna go down, honestly. No, I think you're gonna regret it. Oh, Isabella. Oh, oh, hello. Uh, ah, take that. Freaking archer. Whoa, whoa, freaking Eric just like must finish this. Okay, we did that. That was easy. Do you, do you want like proof or something? Flint Company Curious. Well, I mean, I I think I saw something about the family being murdered or something. But geez, like the way he phrased it. Also, he's gorgeous. <laughs> Those eyes! Those eyes! Okay, we'll see. I don't know how long this is gonna go. Stupid recording's not working. Uh, we'll just, we'll just go. We'll go to the Wounded Coast. Those guys were not difficult to defeat, nor were they numerous. Anything? No? Okay. Where you be? Oh, hey, look at that. Spring a week. Hello! I'm gonna try to probably just work on strength a lot. Cause I really need to get my my attack power up. Hello, yes, I will just smack you. And smack you. Oh, I took some enemy from you. at a time. I took something from you. Oh, oh boy, is that a gift? Is that what the green thing means? Okay. Oh, uh, Varric. Okay. Okie dokie, easy peasy. I wonder if it's like super easy for a reason. Cause they're like, don't worry, just get it done and you can meet the guy. I don't know why he put that on a chanter's board. It would have been better off somewhere else, really. I mean, I guess I saw it, didn't I? Dark, uh, dark at night? Yes. Idiot thugs and their gangs. Always around at night. Ah, but there's good right. coin in getting rid of them. I need a next time I play, and when, apparently in each act, I need to go through each area until I get rid of the annoying guys. Also, apparently there's a... Uh, a reward for doing it. Disused passage. What? What is that? How come I haven't seen that before? I am Hawk. Uh, I figured out, I think I figured out what the problem was, by the way, with the weird glitching, and I think it's because my external hard drive was running very low on space, so that would make sense. That tends to cause problems. So, I will keep an eye on it, but we should be good. What do I have to do now? Oh, he wants me to go to the Chantry. <laughs> Alright, I'm hoping this is working. <laughs> Gotta go tell the guy. Or the Chanter, maybe? I don't know. I don't know where the guy is. I don't know why he's out. Why he's not out. Kill oh, hey, babe. B b b b b b guy. So he's a prince. That's interesting. So, will anyone smite me if I tell you I killed the men who wronged your family? <laughs> what? Excuse me, who are... My post to the Chancellor's board? Did her grace let that stay? I thought for sure no one even read, but you say you've killed the... Well, you made a big scene. You have my eternal gratitude, Sirrah. It is comforting to think my What have you been doing? Shouldn't you have been killing them? Their graves. Uh, uh we'll who are you exactly? I am Sebastian Vale, 
prince of Starkhaven. We'll go back Haven. to take Starkhaven. Her grace might prefer I introduce myself as a brother in the Chantry. But I could not stay after what happened to my family. Oh, was he like a younger brother and sent to the Chantry or something? Isn't that where the Circle Tower just burned down? Oh, yeah! Yes. I believe that was part of the same strike against my family. In one instant, we lost our mages, our Templars, everyone my parents used to call on for protection. Wow! Who sent these mercenaries? My family has ruled Starkhaven for six generations. We he have enemies, is gorgeous. But none who would identify themselves openly. A distant cousin of mine is claiming rulership now, but he is a bit simple. He can be no more than a pawn in this plot. Huh. Odd. Surely you have a guess as to who was behind it. My parents were always He's like Scottish or in something. how they handled our nobles. They did not allow rivalries or resentments to flourish. The attack must have come from outside. Kirkwall is our largest trading partner. I came back here to find support for my claim, and perhaps for a clue as to who is His behind this foul deed. His armor is rad. Why didn't your family's enemies hunt you down as well? That's why I took the offensive. Thanks to you, those Flint Company assassins are no longer a danger. He's an archer. I'm the last of my line. Unless I survive. My family will have no justice. Uh, you didn't, um, tell me why, uh, you're still alive, you know? Um, should, I guess since it's a family issue, maybe she'll be cool with it. I think she probably just, I think Hawk maybe just took it out because she was curious because he made such a big deal about it and just kind of went out and killed those guys. Your parents probably don't care much at this point. But I hope you sleep a bit easier. Aha, I like that. Yes, I hope I will. Thank you. Consider this in advance. When I have secured my lands again, you will be paid royally. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must meet with the Viscount and petition him for aid to a fellow city. Odd. This is very odd. Um, uh, we're in the Codex. Like, this seems like it would be a huge, like, its own game, you know? Like, like he could be the main character of a game. Um, characters. What's his name? Sebastian. In the face of danger, sometimes the bravest thing is to stand back and trust that the maker will... <gasps> okay, whatever. Okay, I already, I already don't agree with you. Sebastian Bale is the only surviving son of the ruling family of Starkhaven, which was murdered in a violent coup d'etat. Um, coup de... Uh, I know I said that wrong. By God dang, I can't even think of it now. I'm just looking at the spelling. Sebastian cannot forget forget the irony that he still lives only because his family was so ashamed of his drinking and womanizing that they committed him to the Kirkwall Chantry against his will. After initially rejecting the priest's lifestyle, Sebastian was more surprised than anyone he re when he realized that his show of faith had turned real. Since then, his belief in the Maker and his plan for Thetis have been unshakable, embracing um, his new role. Sebastian took vows of poverty and chastity to become a sworn brother of the Chantry until word of his family's deaths forced him to take up worldly concerns once again. Grand Cleric Elthina, Sebastian's mentor and friend, hopes to convince him to walk away from the struggle for Starkhaven and return to the good works of the Chantry. <laughs> okay, so just leave his city, like, floundering in, in the midst of a coup? Like... What? No, like, oh, for your soul, we'll bring you back and you can help the poor. Like, or he could help a freaking entire city. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, man, is that, is that it? Oh, I remember. Okay, so, okay, so you meet him. You can meet him in Act 1, but I'll you... let you run your fingers through it if you want. <laughs> your chest hair. My fingers. <laughs> oh, Varric, stop. You're making me quiver. <laughs> you know you want to. Oh, I do. I can't resist you. No woman can. <laughs> I know. The terrible bird. <laughs> <laughs> so there is still conversation options to be had. My game was just like, nah. Okay, so yeah, we do. We get to meet Sebastian, and then he can't be a friend until we go. Um, until Act Two, he can't be a companion. Okay, I forgot about that, but I remember reading that now. 
I do. I do. Because otherwise, it's just like, oh, that's it? Okay, bye! I, I was kind of expecting I have to do something big, but... I'm curious. We're gonna run up here. And maybe see if he's in here? I don't know. God. Uh, don't... I don't know where he would be. Hey, Seneschal! I am receiving complaints, that is one complaint repeatedly, that the Kunari are denying commerce in addition to the Maker. I am struggling to find a reason to care. <laughs> His straight face is awesome! I will not lie. He is has the best straight face I've ever seen. Heavy boots! Yay! I am struggling to find a reason to I don't care. Think I can do that. Oh, that's so. Fun. I want to say that from now on. It's like, how how many beeps did you give? And instead of saying that, I'm gonna say, I'm struggling to find a reason to care. Okay, so I guess he's not in here. I was just curious if we could like poke him again, but I'm not sure. Or this looks like a grand entry hall receiving thing, you know? Um, but yeah, I guess now I'm actually gonna go, uh, real quick, run through. Yeah, I was actually just thinking, I'm like, maybe I should just, I wouldn't, I shouldn't do this right now. I could just meet him in Act 2, but then that would, that would mean the banter we just listened to wouldn't wouldn't stay so no I was planning on going back and uh, redoing uh, well redoing the a little bit of the first part of act two just some dialogue choices um, but you guys will see uh, whatever I the big things will stay the same if there's any changes I'll kind of crop them in but um, yes thank you I'm not sure how long this one's gonna be because it got kind of weird <laughs> But um, thank you guys for joining me. I will see you in the next one.